Well, hello, my friends. All right. So today we have some kindergarten and school vocabulary words for you to start learning. So this first one is paper clip. This is the little teeny tiny metal clips that hold pieces of paper together so they don't get lost. Then of course you have pen to use to write, markers for coloring, a uniform. Some schools have kids wear what's called a uniform. That means they wear special pants and shirt, maybe a hat, and they, they have them wear special clothes to school every day. There's the computer that you can type and play games on. The iPad, of course. A calculator. This is a tool you use kind of like a computer that helps you add and subtract and multiply and divide and do all sorts of things with numbers. Here's a desk. When you're in kindergarten, you'll get your own desk to sit at. And the teacher will probably have a desk too. It's a place where you can store your materials, where you sit and work, kind of like a table, but it's only for you. Then there's paints. A ruler helps measure things. You've seen some rulers in our classroom before. A stapler. Staplers help staple papers together to make sure they don't get lost. A globe is like a ball that shows us the earth and where the different places on the earth are. It's like a 3D map. You have books. You can see lots of books in kindergarten and paper to write on. A glue stick to help you glue things and glue as well. A pencil for writing. Crayons for coloring. Scissors to help cut things out. An eraser if you make a mistake and need to erase it from your paper. Chalk for drawing outside or for the teacher to write on the chalkboard. The board can either be a chalkboard, a whiteboard, a smart board. Lots of different kinds of boards are things at the front of the room to write on. The clock helps tell time. The calendar tells you what day it is. Math is where you study numbers and adding and subtracting and multiplying and all sorts of different things you can do with numbers. Social studies is where you learn about the world. You learn about people and what they do. You learn about history and the things that happened a long time ago. Literacy is where you learn about books and reading. And in kindergarten, you're gonna start learning how to read more. Science, you're learning about the world and how it works. You're doing experiments and watching animals and doing lots of cool things. Chair for sitting in. A sharpener helps you sharpen your pencil and keep it nice and pointy for when you write. A pencil tin is something you can keep your pencils and crayons and scissors and other supplies in. Or you can also keep them in a pencil case. Recess is a time where you get to go outside and play. Swings will often be outside on the playground. And slides. Line. You've been in a line before in our class. That's when you get in a right behind the person in front of you and you make a line to go outside or go somewhere else. Then you have play, which is what you do when you're outside. And sometimes in kindergarten classrooms, they might even have a little bit of playtime, although not usually. Usually that's only in our preschool and Head Start classrooms that we have playtime inside. You'll have to know how to sit nicely in kindergarten and listen like we do at circle time. You might have a lunch box that you'll bring your lunch in so you can eat. 
And then there will be a special lunch time during the day where you'll go and eat your food. The custodian is somebody who comes in and cleans up the classroom. They take out the garbage, they sweep, they mop, they vacuum. They make sure the school stays nice and clean. The nurse is somebody at the school that will take care of you if you get sick. If you start to not feel good, you can talk to your teacher and then go to the nurse and she will help you try and feel better. The cafeteria lady or man is there to help feed you lunch if you decide to buy lunch from the school. Administration is the people in the school office. They're like Miss Stephanie, where they're answering phones, they're on their computers, they're helping make sure the school runs smoothly. You have boy and girl. Friends, you're going to make lots of new friends in kindergarten. A student, that's what we call you guys. You are students at the school. You're going to learn more about writing and how to write in kindergarten and read. You're going to paint and do some art projects. You're going to eat. You're going to have a music class where you're going to sing and play instruments. You're going to have art, just like in Head Start, you're going to have an art class where you can go and make pictures. Sports, that's a time where you're going to get to learn how to play different games and run around with balls in the gym and have lots of fun. The library is where you're going to go and you're going to get to check out books from the school library to take home for a few days and read. Your teacher is there to help teach you and help you to learn. The principal is the leader of the school. They're in charge. And sometimes if you get in a lot of trouble, you might have to go talk to the principal. You have a coach who is someone there to help the sports teams, to help teach you how to play basketball and soccer and all those things. The librarian works in the library. The school is where you go to learn, of course. The bus will take you to and from school if you live far away. The bell tells you when school starts, and it also tells you when, it, when it's time to go home. And you have, of course, your backpack to carry all your things in to kindergarten. I hope this was helpful for you to learn some of the things that you're going to see and experience in kindergarten. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will talk to you later. Bye!